Okay, Ben, can you tell us a little bit uh, about what you're doing at the show? Yeah, no problem. My name's Ben Potter and I have a, a company called Birds of Prey Displays. Now, what we have uh, going on this, this today and obviously the past two days we've been here is two displays of eagle and vulture, exotic and unusual birds. Uh, we'll do a total of six displays for ourselves and like three shows combined with Pakefield, Ferrets and Simon Whitehead to uh, bring the two sports together as often happen in the, you know, in the wild when you're out hunting with them. Um, we've had a, a cracking bit of time. Looking for us, the weather's been great. You fly African birds, eagles and vultures and it starts raining. It's uh, not the easiest of weathers to deal with, but it's been dry, it's been breezy. And as you can see, the area around here is lovely and packed with people. We've had some cracking feedback from it, which uh, when you're out there doing a demonstration, you need a bit of feedback to make life a bit easier. Nothing worse than talking to just two or three people. And uh, Oh yeah, they love it. Yeah, every minute of it. Yeah. Okay, so tell us what you're doing at the show. Well, we're doing some demonstrations in the countryside arena to show the whole spectrum of ferritin, but mainly to show the uh, the rough mechanics of something that's unique as the weather. Yeah. And on the static display, we get the ferrets out for people to handle and to dispel the myth that they're going to bite everything, yeah. and just generally talk about anything to do between the rabbit and the ferret. Okay, great. Thank you. Each of these sets of artists can take anything up to five. Right, okay. All right, so I reckon we're going to have a break in here next. On grass, which uh, make quite heavy work. When they go back from the show, several of these teams have been on the road for some while. Yes, I just walked up from there with the hound. Hi, uh, I'm Sue Files and I've come up from Dartmouth in Devon this year, an awful long way because I've heard the Yorkshire show was so good and we've had the best competition in the country here, better than all the other shows because it brings people together from far and wide. Uh, I've won the Berkshire Bee Championship with a four and a half year old sow, Peveril Suzanne. Dominican monks, the wear white habits, I think, isn't it? <laughs> Students of cattle, like me in particular, have run their championship, really has brought size back in. Hello, my name's Sally Renshaw, I work for the Rare Breed Survival Trust and we're here at the Great Yorkshire Show to promote Britain's native livestock breeds. Uh, we're an organisation that um, looks after native breeds uh, and particularly those that are um, at risk or vulnerable. Uh, we, every year we uh, produce a watch list which lists over 60 to 70 uh, native breeds which uh, need careful monitoring to make sure that we still have them for the future. Thank you. Second place, the